Hi, and many thanks for joining us on yet another exciting edition of Entertainment News on Channel TV. As you know, our job is to keep you entertained, informed, and up to date about anything and everything that has got to do with entertainment in Nigeria, Africa's entertainment capital, Amayawa Ogundele. On the show today, we cast spotlight on Kidominant. We check our stories making the rounds. And outside Nigeria, the premiere of the new Alice movie. These are more stories coming right up. On Spotlight, we bring you one of Nigeria's youngest and most successful music producers. He started DJing at the age of 14, but now he's moved up the ladder and is producing for pop stars like Davido, Orezi, Cynthia Morgan, and... He is about to go international. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you Kidominant. Do enjoy. <laughs> Ayola Agola, now known to the world as Kidominant, found his love for music and the arts at a very tender age. Born and raised in Lagos, the graduate of business administration learned how to make music from the scratch. Um, growing up, I grew up as the first child of four. Um, you know, it was all, I grew up around music. I love music growing up, naturally. I used to play, I, used, and I, used, I taught myself the keyboard, taught myself the drums, everything, almost everything about music that I know, you know, so. Growing up was just about music, music and art. I used to paint, I used to draw, so I had a love for creativity and all that from day one. Although he has now become one of the youngest and most successful music producers in the country, Kidominan says there was hardly any motivation to follow his dream in the beginning. My family, initially, they did, no, no one supported me. No one wanted me, especially my mom. She didn't want me to be a musician. She didn't want me to do anything but with music because she always saw... Our artists would go on TV with dreadlocks, you know, crazy. And she always said, eh, my son, no way. <laughs> so she always told me, no, there's no way you're going to be a musician. Just go and be. She, want, she really want, wanted me to be an engineer. But, you know, I found my way around it. And I, like, man, I have to do what I have to do. Man. <laughs> music I have the passion for. Initially, it was all, f was all love for the, for the, and passion for the music, generally. And then I started becoming a DJ when I was like 14. I, I used to DJ for um, my family parties. And then the secondary school, I used to DJ for the school and all of that. But when I got into university, I started DJing and I started making money off it. Yeah, so I started seeing a career out of just, not out of the music itself, not just a passion now. I started seeing a career out of it. I feel like, okay, I can make a living out of this thing. His first real shot at stardom came with the song Rihanna, singer Orez's breakout single. My big break was in 2014, 2014 when I made Orezi That was one very big song that, you know, it wasn't just big in Nigeria, it was big all over Africa. We went into countries like Israel, Netherlands, you know, I used to get calls from those countries, from DJs telling them they need a beat up to now. You get, and now like since 2014, that's two, three years ago now. So, it was actually 2013, the video dropped 2014. So. Was that was like the first big break I had? That song was nominated as the best in all of Africa by Channel O, so it was big for me. So after after that, I had to chill and really understand you get what it means to be in this game. And then I came back 2015. So I'm back now. <laughs> I 
never told you you look like me. Nah, 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 nah. You got me screaming, oh, nah, nah, nah. Coming back was with a big bang as he quickly moved up the ladder, working with even bigger artists, especially David O, for whom he produced the hit track Dodo. And the money, which featured YBNL boss Olamide. I made the video in 20, 2014. I met him in 2014 through a friend co called Danagog. He signed to the video's record label. I was supposed to work with Danagog. And then the video was there. I was like, ah. And at that time, Rihanna was buzzing up. Rihanna was big. Like, ah, this is the guy that made Rihanna. I, they do like this song. Like, oh, cool, cool. And at that point, the video was there to sign Orezi as well. So everything was just working together. And um, the video was like, okay, ah, since we are, you are going to be. We are going to be signing the race here. We are together, let's just be as one team and all that. So, but then this, the signing didn't work out. So. But eventually we got talking and later, earlier in 2015, we met and we decided to work on a couple of songs. Dodo and the money happened to be on one of them. Aiming to become an international brand, Kidominant is looking to help set standards as regards royalties for producers in the industry. In Nigeria, for a lot of producers, I don't know how they go about their businesses. A lot of people, I don't know, a lot of producers that I know, they don't handle the business the way they are supposed to. Me personally, if you are going to work with me, you have to sign that I'm going to get a royalty. You understand? I'm signed to a royalty collection company in South Africa called Samro. You get so that's the body responsible for collecting royalties of my works. You get so, but a lot of producers in Nigeria don't do that. They believe since there's no structure for doing that in Nigeria, there's no way we can do it, or if artists come and you tell, show them papers to sign for realities, they will run away and say they don't want to do it. That's the mindset a lot of people have, but you know, you have to just, for you to make things change, you have to make the move. You get so. Me personally, if you, if you can't sign, if, if two of us can sit down together, break our brains, and make a song that's going to be massive, I don't see why I can't get a cut that is due to me. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's, it's common sense. Producers should just sit down and have a paper, a contract that they will give to every artist that comes to them. You have to sign this. Government doesn't have to be involved in this. It's normal music business and knowledge again. Is business structure already airtight? Kidominant is set to start playing on the international scene, even as he puts the finishing touches to pop star Davido's highly anticipated sophomore album, Baddest. I'm working on David's album and it's a love, it's a huge body of work, you know. It's gonna be crazy. It's, not, it's nothing like what you guys have heard before. I'm I'm very excited about that. And we'll be traveling to the United States to finish the album next week. Yeah, so I mean we are done with most of the work now, it's just the finishing that we're about to finish and it's crazy already. So that's one thing and I think you guys should expect, I'm going to give you a clue, you guys should expect international work from me. You guys, I'm not about just Nigeria now. You guys. More of the international artists working with me and stuff like that. You guys should expect that.